trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the Kowada brothers call the Kowada brothers call the Kowada brothers call the Kowada brothers help is on its way One morning, George the postman was in something of a hurry. He promised Archie he'd meet him for morning tea and he was running a bit late. So he decided to take a little shortcut. Seems to be stuck. There, that's got it. But George didn't realise that he'd torn a hole in his satchel. Meanwhile, Frank and Buster were out on their daily patrol. Can you see anything, Buster? Sure, Frank. Um, the back of your head and a cloud and... Uh, Buster, I mean down there. Oh, well, I can see something. Not sure what it is, though. Let's have a look. Look at this, Frank. It's a letter for Archie. Look, there's more. This one's for Alice. Should we tell George about the letters, Frank? Yes, but I think we'd better deliver them first, Buster. They might be important. Good idea, Frank. Come on, Buster. First stop, Archie's house. Archie? Archie? He's not there. He must be out jogging. Just slide the letter under Archie's door, Buster. That'll do it. Rightio. Come on, we've got Alice's letter next. A little later, Archie arrived home after his morning jog. I say, I really gave it my all that time. <laughs> Uh, hello, Archie. Ah, ah, George. Jolly good to uh -huh. see you, old chap. Ah, oh. 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 You all right, Archie? we better get you inside. Oh, good idea, old boy. Oh, oh, oh. Spot of tea, then? When George opened the door, he found the letter that Buster had posted. Hmm, that's strange. I didn't post this letter under your door, Archie. Is that so? But, uh... If it wasn't me, who did deliver it? Oh, well, perhaps we've got a new postman, George. Ha! Ah, someone to help you out. Oh, dear. Well, as long as we all get our post, everything is as right as rain, isn't it? Now, how about that cup of tea? Uh, uh maybe not today, Archie. Thanks. Oh. Hero. Uh, well, you'll always be the number one postman as far as I'm concerned, George. Uh, oh, dear. When the Koala brothers arrived to deliver Alice's letter, they found that she wasn't at home either. George was getting more and more worried. He thought that a new postman had taken over his rounds. What am I going to do if someone else is delivering me letters? And when George passed by Alice's <gasps> house, he found another letter. Oh no, not again. Go, Lolly. Oh, thanks, Josie. <gasps> George decided to ask Lolly if she'd seen the mysterious postman. Lolly, wait. What's up, George? Why so worried? Oh, I uh, think someone's taken over me job, Lolly. There's a new postman in town. <laughs> no. It's true. And I don't know what to do. Well, maybe you should go and see Frank and Buster. They'll be able to help you out, surely. That's a good idea, Lolly. Thanks. Oh, if it helps, George, we all think you're the best postman in the whole outback. Oh, uh, thanks, Lolly. When George arrived at the homestead, the Koala brothers were still out on their patrol. 
so he decided to explain his problem to Mitzi and Ned. That's strange. There's only one thing for it, George. We're going to have to catch this postman when he least expects it. Ned, you go to your trailer in case he comes to your place. Right, Mitzi. George and I are going to hide in here, right, George? Well, uh, uh... Let's hide here. When the new postman comes along to deliver a letter, we'll pounce on him. Are you sure that's a good idea, Mitzi? Of course it is. <gasps> Stand back, George. They'll see your hat. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Mitzi. Who's the next letter for, Buster? Let me see. It's, uh, it looks like it's for... Whoop, oh. <sighs> it's for Lolly. OK, hang on. Hi, Frank. Hi, Buster. All that flying got you in the mood for an ice cream? Ah, don't mind if I do, Lolly. Actually, Lolly, we've brought a letter for you. A letter? Yeah, we found some letters in the middle of the outback. There was one for Archie, one for Alice, and this one for you. Oh, dear. So that explains it. What do you mean? George thinks there's a new postman in town. He's a bit upset. Oh, no. But we're not postmen. We were just trying to help. I think I might know how these letters ended up in the middle of the outback. How? how? George must have got a hole in his satchel. Ah. Come on, Buster. I've got an idea about how we can help George. Oh, I don't know, Mitzi. We've been here for an awfully long time and we haven't seen a thing. Don't worry, George. Someone will be along soon. I'm sure of it. I can't believe it! The mystery postman's Ned! Oh, it can't be. Gotcha! Oh. 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 Ned, are you OK? Oh. What's wrong, Mitzi? It was you! No, Mitzi, these letters are from me. I wrote them for George. You did? Yeah, I thought if maybe you had some letters to deliver, George, you might feel better. Oh, that's very kind of you, Ned. Hi, everyone! Oh! We're back! Frank! Buster! Oh, good. Oh, here I come. Oh, come and tell us. Hey, my letters! Hi, Frank! Good day, Buster. George! Oh, what took you so long? We've been waiting for ages. Someone's been delivering George's post and we don't know who it is. Ah, well, uh, you see, George, we've got something we have to tell you. We delivered those letters. You? But how did you get them? We found them. We think there might be something wrong with your satchel. Miss Satchel? Oh, what's wrong with me? Hang on. What's happened to Ned's letters? They're right here, George. That's a pretty bad hole you got there. You, you're right. It's a, it's a hole. Well, George, that's why we got you this. For me? Oh, thanks, fellas. What is it? It's from everybody in town. It's just our way of saying thanks for being the best postman in the outback. And the only postman in the outback. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a brand new satchel. Isn't it a beauty? It's the nicest gift a postman could ever get. What you read? Thanks, George. So thanks to the Koala Brothers, everything turned out well in the end, and George was happy again. Now that he knew he was still everybody's favourite postman, he even had a new satchel from his friends to prove it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks very much. How did you know he'd like that satchel so much, Frank? Because it's exactly like his old one, Buster. Yeah, mm. except for one difference. What's that? This one hasn't got a hole in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers.
George the postman got lots and lots of letters. He had a map of the world on the post office wall and could tell you where all the letters came from. Now let me see. This letter's come from Africa. I know where that is. It's, it's, uh, it's over here. Wow! You mean that letter came from all the way over there? Oh, morning, Mitzi, Josie. Yes, and this here is a letter for Alice from France. That's over here. And this one's for Sammy from his pen friend in Italy. Where's Italy, George? Well, see this boot-shaped thing here? That's Italy. And there's a picture on the stamp of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. That's a very famous tower in Pisa that leans. Gosh, George, you know so much about other countries. Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. Hey, maybe George could come to the homestead someday and teach us all about them. Well, <laughs> I'm not so sure. Oh, go on, George. I'd love to learn about the world. There you are, Mitzi. Hi there, George. Hello, Hello Buster. Buster. Hello, Hello Frank. Frank. George is going to come to the homestead and tell us all about the countries the mail comes from, aren't you, George? Well, I do. That's a great idea, George. I'd like to hear all about that stuff too. Why don't you come over tomorrow afternoon, George? Oh, well, all right. Hooray! <laughs> I can't wait. To See you tomorrow afternoon, George. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, dear. The thing was, George wasn't sure if he knew as much about the different countries as his friends thought. He was worried that he mightn't be able to tell them everything they wanted to know. The next day, the word had spread that George was going to give a talk about the countries of the world. I've laid on some juice for later, George. Uh, I must say, everyone's really looking forward to your travel talk. Yes! Are they? Oh, that's nice. Good on you, George. Thanks for coming. Uh, letters come into my post office from all over the world. Uh, like this one. This one came from South America. That's all the way from here to here. And this one... Uh, came from China, which is all the way over here. This one came from France. See, the stamp oh, oh, picture oh, of the George, famous Eiffel George, Tower. George, can I ask a question, please, George? Ah, uh, OK, Mitzi. How big is the Eiffel Tower? How, how big? Good question. Well, I... Well, uh... Ah, uh, it's about this big. On the stamp. I mean, how big is it in real life? Um, I wanted to ask what city it's in. I mean, France is a pretty big country. Mm. Yes, well, uh, I'm quite thirsty and I'm sure you are. And uh, I think Frank has some juice. Isn't that right, Frank? Uh, yes. Uh, OK. The juice is in the kitchen. The trouble was, George was upset because people were asking questions and he couldn't answer them. Hey, Frank. Do you think George is all right? He did seem a little, well, nervous. I'll speak to him. Everything all right, George? Oh, well, not really, Frank. I'm feeling a bit under pressure. People are asking questions that I just don't know the answers to. Why don't you talk about somewhere you do know? That way, you'll be able to answer people's questions. Somewhere I know. Good idea, Frank. Come on, Joe, stand up here. Ready, George. <clears throat> Welcome back. Now, this is my lucky opal. It's just one of the fascinating rocks you can find in the world. It's mainly uh, found George, in... George, we know where opals are mainly found. They're mainly found around here. Yes, we know all about rocks, George, and the outback. What we want to hear about is the South American rainforests. Yes, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And the... Oh, I forget now. 
but other countries. Oh, actually, you know, I'm very tired. Long day. Maybe we could do this another time. But, George, what about Russia? And Christmas Island. Is it shaped like a Christmas tree? And I wanted to know about Brazil. Uh, sorry, some other time. Uh, must go now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> What's up with him? Is the talk over now, Buster? I think it might be, Mitzi. I think George is a bit upset, Mitzi. But it's not your fault. Frank will think of something to make things right, won't you, Frank? Of course. After all, we're, we're here, here to help. Buster, why don't you catch up with George and see if you can find out what's wrong? And maybe Mitzi could get you guys some more juice. Whatever you say, Frank. Oh. Wait up, George. We're worried about you. Why did you leave in such a hurry? I'm sorry, Buster. I had to leave. I couldn't answer any of those questions. Mitzi and the others, they love to hear you talking about things, George. Nobody tells stories like you. And if you can't answer a few of their questions, Buster, well... Buster, I can't answer any of their questions. You see, I don't know any facts about those other countries. I just look at the stamps and sort of daydream what they might be like. How can I tell people about other countries if I've never been to them? Don't worry, George. I'll tell Frank what you just told me, and I'm sure he'll think of something. Bye, Buster. Uh, As soon as Buster got back to the homestead, he told Frank all about George's problem. Well, let's think. What do we do if we want to learn about something? Oh, what's that, Mitzi? Mm. <laughs> of course, we get a book on the subject. Let's take the plane to Sammy's store. Ned, get ready for takeoff. Righto, Frank. Stand by. Standing by. Chocks away, Buster. Chocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckle up. Sammy had a good collection of books, which he gave to Frank. Thanks, Sammy. The Koala brothers couldn't wait to show them to George. George! Oh, hello, Buster. Hello, Frank. I told you Frank would think of something, George, and he did. These are for you. Books? Books, George. Books on China and India and France and Italy. And we can get more about any country you like. Any country? Sure. You see, you don't have to go to a place to learn all about it. You can find out lots of interesting stuff from books. And then you can tell other people. In your own special George way. Oh. Oh, thanks, fellas. So, uh, can I tell the others you might give another talk? When you read the books, of course. You sure can. It's not too good, I Right. Now, the giant redwood tree is so big, it's, uh, let me just check here. Oh, it's, it's so big, you could cut a tunnel through one and drive Sammy's truck right through it. Wow! Now, being able to drive a truck through a tree is a pretty cool thing, and that mm. means it's probably... And after that, biggest... oh. George's yeah, talks became a regular thing. Stop. Everybody had learned that you don't have to go to a place to find out about it. And George had learned that there's no need to be afraid of not knowing something. After all, with books, you can learn something new every day.
George the Turtle loved being a postman, and he took pride in making sure all his friends got their posts safely. In fact, he never once failed to deliver a letter. George had to take a little break every now and then. Delivering post was thirsty work in the hot outback sun. Oh, just what I needed. Hi, George. Lovely morning. More than Alice. It's going to be a scorcher. Have you got any mail for me? Well, uh, I normally, uh, you know, like to deliver the mail, well, yeah, properly to your house. Uh, I like to make sure it arrives safely. Oh, OK, George. But I suppose just this once we could have a little look-see. Oh, if you're sure. Now then, uh, Ah, here you go, Alice. One letter delivered by hand. Oh, thanks, George. I don't know what we'd do without you. <laughs> All part of the service, Alice. Bye. Bye, Alice. Another satisfied customer. Right then, back to work. In all the excitement, poor George had forgotten to tighten the lid on his flask of tea. His post was getting all wet. Meanwhile, at the Koala Brothers' homestead, it was wash day. OK, Ned. After three. Three! Uh, uh, Buster, where are you? I'm over here. <laughs> it's got footprints all over it. You're supposed to wash it before you hang it up. I think we better wash it again, Ned. I think you're right, Buster. <sighs> oh, dear. Morning, George. Morning, everyone. Hi, George. Right. Uh, let's have a little look-see. Uh, no. Oh. Oh. All of George's mail was dripping wet. Oh, dear. Any mail, George? Well, um, no. Uh, w well, yes. Um, well, sort of. Uh, everything all right, George? Oh. It's a bit soggy. Oh, it's all my fault. Me flask of tea must have leaked in me satchel. Everyone's post is ruined. Don't worry, George. Th there must be something we can do. Hey, eh, Frank? Well, as we've got to wash the sheet all over again, we can peg George's post out to dry on the washing line. Do you think so? Frank's right. They'll be dry in no time in the hot sun. Oh, thanks, fellas. We're, We're here to help. Ned, can you help me hang this lot up? You can count on me, Frank. And we'll have a nice cup of tea while we wait for the post to dry. I don't really feel like tea, Buster. I know, George. It'll be all right. <gasps> so with Ned's help, Frank hung George's mail out to dry. Hmm. That's the last one, Frank. Thanks, Ned. Now, all we have to do is wait. George was feeling bad about soaking the mail. He felt like he'd let everyone down. Don't worry, George. Everyone makes mistakes. But I'm not supposed to make mistakes. I'm supposed to deliver the post. Are these dry yet? Frank and Buster were right. The mail was dry in no time. Uh, here you go, George. Dry as an old stick. Oh, thanks, Frank. Oh. Something wrong, George? Well, it's really dry, but uh, I can't read the address. He's right, Frank. The ink must have run when it got wet. Ah. Uh, oh. I can't read any of them. Oh, dear. How can I deliver the post when I don't know where it's supposed to go? Well, this one's from Penny the Duck. Ah, uh, Penny's a penguin, Mitzi. How do you know it's from her anyway, Mitzi? Who else do you know that comes from the South Pole? Of course. Penny sends us a card every week. Well done, Mitzi. I wonder if there are any clues on the others. Ah! Oops! Ooh, that's a bouncy one. 
Hmm. It's squashy too. I think I know who that one's for. You do? Can I hang my washing up now? Mitzi. <laughs> At the waterhole, Archie and Josie had arranged to play tennis. But there was something missing. Ah, uh, uh, where's George? We can't play without him. Maybe I should come back later, Archie. Hi, Archie. Hi, Archie. Hello, Josie. Hi, Josie. Hello, all. George! Oh! Oh! Uh, don't suppose you have a little something for me, George? How about this? Ah! Thanks, George. Archie! What would we do without you? It's a tennis ball. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Josie! Game on! <laughs> With just the letter and the little parcel left to deliver, George was feeling a lot better. So, uh, who do you think it belongs to, Frank? Hmm. Mm. This one's tricky. Did you hear that, Frank? It sounds like a bell. But who needs a bell? Good day, all. Maybe we should ask Sammy. Good idea, Frank. Hi, Sammy. Whoa! Sorry, Sammy. We didn't mean to make you jump. Oh, <laughs> good day, all. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. You see, the bell's broken on my door. I'm waiting for a new one. Well, Sammy, your wait is over. Here. Huh? Oh, thanks, George. You're a marvel. <laughs> Just doing my job. <laughs> They looked all over the last letter, but couldn't find any clues. Who was the letter for? We could always open it. Oh, no. No, we couldn't do that. People's letters are private. For the first time ever, it looked like George wasn't going to deliver a letter. There's only one thing to do. George will have to open the letter in front of everybody. Oh, well, I don't know. Great idea, Frank. Everyone gathered in the town to see if they owned the last letter. They were all very excited. OK, everyone. George is now going to open the letter. Well, I'm not sure I'd really... Open the letter, George! OK. Here goes. Come on, George. Who's it for? Uh, uh, it, it's for me. Oh, oh, Will you look at that? It's a certificate from the post office for the best postman in the outback. Oh, well, I'll be. Congratulations, George. Oh, easy, Master. Hi, Dar. I'd like to thank Frank and Buster for all their help. And uh, from now on, I'll always make sure everyone's letters arrive safe and dry. So George realised that everyone, including the best postman in the outback, sometimes made mistakes. And from then on, he always checked his flask to make sure that no one ever got a wet letter again.